Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to dispel a myth so ancient, so persistent, that even the great sysadmins of old shake their heads in disbelief. Many a lost soul has wandered the lands, whispering the words, Debian Stable has outdated software. But lo, they know not the sacred truth. For behold, my friends, the light of backports shines upon us, a divine repository, a bridge between the stability we cherish and the freshness we desire. Yeah, through Debian stable may not chase the bleeding edge, the faithful shall find their salvation through Debian bookworm backports main. A simple incantation that unlocks the wonders of newer kernels, updated drivers and applications reborn. So let no more falsehoods spread among us. Go forth, install with wisdom and let the stability of Debian be forever in your favor. Can I get an apt get? Amen. Yeah, okay, I'm just joking. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to say with this video is that uh, a lot of you who actually use Debian, uh, I mean, if you have been using it for quite a while, then surely you are aware of Debian backports. But for those of you who have been uh, on Debian for a brief period of time, and for those who have been staying away from Debian because they have heard uh, because you have heard that uh, it is outdated on release. Well, I just wanted to tell you about Debian backports, right? So what is backports? Backports is basically, uh, actually this, 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 this uh, requires a little bit of um, background uh, explanation uh, because you need to be aware of what Debian is and what it offers. So the, when we say Debian, we usually mean Debian stable, right? But there is more to it. There is Debian testing, there is Debian unstable, which is usually called SID, actually always. And recently we also have Debian Experimental. So let me um, just explain briefly what these are. So Debian Stable being Debian Stable, right? Uh, currently this is Bookworm and in a couple of months this is going to be Debian Trixie, right? So currently Debian 12 and then Debian 13. Once the Debian 13 comes out, it will be fixed uh, with no uh, big changes. You will get uh, one Firefox, one big Firefox update per year, uh, according to the Firefox uh, e ESR releases, right? But other than that, you are pretty much stuck on whatever was um, the most recent, like half a year before it was actually released uh, on Debian. So that's roughly about now, right? Right now we are beginning to feel the the um, effect of Debian freeze, which means let let's say KDE Plasma is version 6.3 currently for Debian Trixie, and this is probably going to stay. Uh, like that when Debian releases some, some, someone during the summer, right? Uh, th this is the regular cadence roughly every two years. Uh, so what testing presents? Testing is basically um, a distribution that sits between unstable and uh, the release ones, the, the stable ones. So whatever is in Debian SID, occasionally it drips into testing and testing will become um, the next table at some point. So after the Debian 13 tricks releases, then you're going to see uh, new packages slowly dripping into the testing, which will eventually become Debian 14 in two years. And by slowly dripping, I mean, it is kind of, um, it's, it's kind of unstable, but a little bit more tested, so it's more stable. Uh, but what will be at the end of this year in Debian testing, that will not actually be, these versions will not actually be in uh, Debian 14 in two years, but rather they are going to update all of these versions um, 
through time, right? And once the year of Debian 14 release comes, which will uh, be 2027, uh, then they're going to slowly start freezing things up. And um, what they freeze is going to be become Debian 14, right? So what you get in between is kind of a rolling distribution, but a lot slower uh, than SID, right? And SID is the one consider considered um, in general to be the rolling one uh, of Debian, right? It's not officially rolling as in being advertised as one, uh, you know, you know, you're, you're not with Arch Linux, you get the rolling package, the, the rolling distribution, and that's how this distribution uh, is designed to exist, right? While with Debian, this one is designed to exist as stable. So the 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 seed one the the the, the rolling one I, I don't know how best to describe it but you're not getting the exact same experience as with arch linux right so i'm going to just skip over this one because it's not that relevant for the topic of this video and there is also the experimental one uh, this one is really bleeding edge but as the name says on its own uh, it really comes down to how much you need to play with the latest software, right? So, uh, what is currently in uh, Debian Trixie, uh, in Debian testing, apologies, that will uh, become Trixie in a couple of months. Uh, but, let me go back in the year 2023, uh, when Debian 12 was released, the bookworm uh, named one. Uh, so let's just go over a couple of interesting packages, uh, sort of randomly picked. Uh, kernel was, uh, the, the LTS kernel was 6.1 at the time that Debian was released in 2023 uh, summer, yes. And this kernel is still in this uh, distribution. It's just the latest version of 6.1, right? They they uh, pretty much keep up with all of the security patches that uh, come along. So this is important. Uh, also, it was released with the um, Emacs version 28. So Emacs version 28 uh, was the one that was um, available at the time. And basically you're stuck with this version until Debian 13 comes out two years later, right? So this is what pretty much everyone is talking about when they say that Debian is obsolete at the day uh, when it releases. So let me just um, give you a quick heads up on, uh, I have um, SSH into my NAS device where I have Debian 12. So let me just um, prove it to you, right? apt install emacs nox this uh, this is the version without the um, graphical interface support this is what i need uh, okay sorry wrong key okay emacs emacs okay i have problems with keyboard today goody 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 okay let's install all that so you can see here uh maybe you can't because it's actually quite fast but 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 Okay, soon. Okay, here you can see Emacs 28, right? 28.2 even, so it's not even the latest 28. So uh, the way Emacs gets um, updated is that they have one uh, major version at a r relatively, relatively uh, interesting cadence, but in between they have subversions which uh, kind of improve on some things that were not that good. Uh, at the time of official release. So um, what Debian does not do is Debian doesn't really provide you even with these um, sub uh, versions of the of the of the updates, right? So you're stuck at the, the same version 28.2 that was released uh, before Debian 12 was released, right? So you can already see uh, on my screen that I have now installed the official Debian that comes, uh, the official Emacs that comes with Debian. Uh, however, the thing that I have called upon that is Debian backports is that uh, this is like a dash T uh, bookworm dash backports. Okie dokie, and once you do this, 
we are going to install it and voila you can see that it is now installing emacs version 30.1 right so if we go to uh, let's ask uh, when was emacs 30.1 released right let's see if this uh, chatbot can answer this quickly February 23rd so this was roughly four days ago right uh, so four days ago Debian uh, Emacs sorry <laughs> I keep saying Debian Emacs 30 uh, was released don't uh, don't be afraid of version dot point one this is how Emacs functions uh, so 30 was released a couple of days ago and it is already available in Debian stable right so what else can you can you get right through through Debian backports let's check it out Debian bookworm backports right so one other thing that you can get through Debian backports which is something that I don't really need on my NAS server is you can get the latest kernel uh, the 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 way the way that this works is that you're going to get uh, the kernel 6.12 at this point okay sorry i got interrupted by some family drama but let me continue so uh when you look up debian uh bookworm backports you are going to get uh where is it uh the backwards debian.org right so i have already opened this uh, previously and here uh, you can find all sorts, sorts of information about debian bookworm but uh, debian backwards right uh, but depending on which distribution you're using so currently uh, bookworm is the one that is uh, the up-to-date one the up-to-date stable one right and here you can check out uh, a lot of packages right and you may be able to find something for yourself so let's search for emacs and voila you can see here that it is uh, 30.1 if you type linux uh, linux 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 alrighty so here you can see that we have uh, Linux 6.12.12 this is what you get and the package gets marked as backports right this is one of the important things because when you do dp uh, dpk minus minus list grab bp oh, oh sorry bp oh, then you can see which of the um, which of the files that you have which of the packages that you have currently installed are uh, from the backports repository maybe it, it would even be better if you do it like this right so it the tilde is uh, quite important right so this is what i have currently uh, installed from backports uh, so there you have it right uh, all i wanted to tell you today is how um, what is this actually oh it's the light okay I got scared. Anyways, I hope you learned something useful today and I'm going to see you in the next video, right?